Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is Paul, chapter 75, and this one is titled Unease. Oh, I see, you replied with a bashful smile, your hurt heart finally jumping with love again. I have managed to remove the effects of the quirk, but be aware that his memory will still have been affected. You nodded and let him continue. Aizawa remembers the patrol day and details around the person that he intercepted, as well as the lady shaking his hand, but then after that he says his memory is a little vague, so he may not remember anything about what he has said while being under the influence of the quirk. Some people do remember, others don't, and others remember more and more the longer their brain is no longer under the control of the quirk. Oh, I see, you replied. Is there anything I should do or shouldn't do? Not necessarily, but be gentle, and if he appears to be a little emotionally unstable for the next few days, that is normal as well. Sometimes there's a fluctuation in the emotional states. You nodded. Okay, thank you for letting me know, and thank you so much for removing the effects of the quirk too. You are most welcome, he replied with a smile. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to call me. Here is my card. He pulled out his business card and handed it to you before leaving, and you went back into the room to see everyone again. Aizawa looked up as you entered, and that soft look in his eye made your heart melt. It's been a long day, you commented as you approached him, Hazashi and Recovery Girl. Would you like me to walk you home? He nodded and stood up. I'd like to talk with you, he said, and you tried not to smile too big. Recovery Girl and Hazashi shared a knowing look behind your backs and bade you farewell as you and Aizawa headed out into the hall. It was quiet as you both walked along, the halls nearly dark as you headed for the stairs to go outside. My apologies for the inconvenience, Yin. Aizawa said in a soft, loving tone. Don't apologise, you are under the effects of a quirk. You replied emphatically, I'm just happy you're okay. The doctor told me the quirk affects my thoughts and feelings towards someone I cared deeply about. Aizawa said. You nodded and looked at him. My apologies. Again, don't apologise. You didn't know what you were doing, and you probably don't remember anything you said or did, so let's just leave it in the past and move on. He said with a warm, encouraging smile. I do remember everything, Aizawa said lowly. I remember everything I said. I remember how you, your face looked. I'm truly sorry. I caused you a lot of pain. No, please, he said, stopping and turning and putting a hand on his arm. I'm just happy you remember me and us and that it's all over. He turned to you, looking like he wanted to hug you, but then he stopped himself and gestured to the door. Let's keep walking, he said. He probably doesn't want to get caught hugging on campus, he thought. Out of the school grounds, you walked together. The sunset was so much prettier that evening, with all its purples, pinks, yellows, oranges and blues, and you took a deep breath in, then smiled and exhaled happily. Did you want some food? you asked him. Hazashi and I went to get some food. What did you get? he asked. Ah, uh, your favourite? you replied. I just... I thought maybe I would share it with you once you'd finished treatment with the doctor. Suddenly Aizawa grabbed you and turned you towards himself, his mouth taking yours against his. In the middle of the quiet street, as the street lamps lazily flicked on, you two kissed, for the first time in two days. It felt like it had been an eternity since you'd had his lips against yours, and you nearly cried from happiness. I'm truly sorry again, Yin, he said once he'd pulled back from the kiss and hugged you close. Don't apologise, you said sadly. Please stop apologising. He pulled you even closer, and your heart ached. You felt like everything was better again, but at the same time, something wasn't right. Why did he keep apologising? The rest of the walk to your place was silent, interspersed with light chatter, and he gave you another small kiss when he dropped you off at the front gate. Here, he said, handing him the food. You need it. Thank you, he replied, taking the food and turning to go. You watched him walk away, and then headed inside to make yourself some food. You were only half hungry anyway, your stomach was churning with a little unease. Is he really 100% okay? Aizawa walked on alone, deep in thought over what had happened. I hurt her. She's the last person I ever wanted to hurt, but it just happened so easily. All it took was a quirk to cause me to make her make those faces. I thought I was strong enough for the two of us strong enough to protect her and her happiness, but I was wrong. He grit his teeth angrily and wrinkled his nose as he hung his head, fringe falling low. I can't have anyone close to me. They will end up getting hurt. The further away she is from me, the less likely she is to end up unhappy, he thought. 
He walked on a little further, making his way through the front gates of his apartment block and heading up to his front door. I'm sorry, Ian. We can't be together. You're better off without me, he thought as he headed inside his apartment and placed your food on the table. Back inside your apartment, you are suddenly hit with a wave of dread. What if Aizawa makes a decision about us in the next few days when he's emotionally unstable from the quirk detox, you thought. I might text him and let him know that he might be feeling a bit strange over the next few days and that it's normal and will settle and that he shouldn't make any big decisions in that time. You reached for your phone and opened it, going to messages so that you could text him quickly. Just as you were about to send him a message, you received a message from him and your eyes lit up then immediately dulled as you read the preview line. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I think it's for the best that we... Uh, I, I, I know what it looks like. I, sorry, I, uh, the next chapter is calling me, so I gotta, bye.